Hey there, so I thought it would be a good idea to try Adobe Fresco for pattern design. I thought it would be something fun to try. I'm using the vector brushes that come on Adobe Fresco. These feel so natural as compared to how regular vector brushes feel. I love them. So yeah, once that's done, I'm going to take that blue layer and reduce the opacity to around 50%. Then double tap that touch bar so I can select two layers at once. Then I'm going to group them. After that, I'll duplicate them. So I have two copies of the same groups. Okay, then move to the transform tool. I'm going to move the first one to the side about halfway it doesn't have to be exactly in the middle the reason for me keeping them slightly transparent is so that you can see whether they overlap or not so yeah just going to toggle them to the side to make sure there's no line in between and then from there I get rid of those base layers those blue take them out delete them then I will merge the new artwork together also they can be all in one layer then add a new layer, fill it with blue and change the opacity again to around 40-50% then the artwork and that blue layer will be grouped again then duplicated just like before use the transform tool and move upwards this time again about halfway doesn't have to be exact same with the other one and then kind of just adjust it so to make sure that they are aligned properly and then after that i'm just going to fill in these empty spaces i'm going to get rid of the blue again then merge the artwork together I'm going to merge those two layers and then create a new layer the blue and then I can fill in this area so that it doesn't look so spacey I'm just going to add in another flower just to take up some space. Once I'm done with that, I will export this so I can have a pattern tile. I'll save it as a PNG. You can absolutely remove the blue so you can have a transparent background if you ever want to change the background color again. So once that's saved, I'm going to test whether the pattern is um, repeatable. So what I'm going to do is reduce the size and then make a duplicate of that. I'm going to make four of them so I can tile them. And then transform to move them side to side. They should fit perfectly. And complete the pattern of course there's no snap to object tool in fresco so you kind of just have to toggle it until you get the right thing so this is me just showing you that you can export it to illustrator on the desktop but also on the tablet here there is a pattern feature which is the grid function and you can just again just adjust that so you don't have any white lines and then yeah it's ready to export and you have your pattern your repeat pattern A little bit of fiddling but um, I think it turned out pretty good I 
And that's it. There's the final. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.